Hey, sweet friends, let's make a Valentine teddy bear wreath with some Dollar Tree supplies and some Hobby Lobby supplies. Well, the teddy bear came from Hobby Lobby anyway. Um, the frame came from Dollar Tree and all of the ribbon came from Dollar Tree. And let's get started. The first thing I'm going to do is get this sweet little teddy bear ready to get mounted onto the side of this heart shaped wreath form. And it's super, super simple to do. I just took off his little bow at the neck and I'm going to attach him with, or her, <laughs> whichever you prefer, uh, with some zip ties from the Dollar Tree. But first I am going to prepare this sweet little wooden heart that I got from the Dollar Tree as well with some red pom-poms and I'm going to just hot glue them around the perimeter of the whole heart. And I end up doing two rows of that because I wanted to bling out the center and I didn't want to use too much bling. And so I put two rows of the red pom-poms on. And now due to the magic of sped up videos, you're going to see the first row is complete. Let's start the second row. And just like that, the second row is done too. So now I am going to pull out my Totally Dazzled Ultimate Rhinestone Applicator Kit. And I'm going to choose my Totally Dazzled Rhinestone Applicator Pen and I'll be using the tray as well, but I'm gonna be using my Aurora Borealis or AB stones that I sell in my Etsy boutique in SS16 and SS20 size. And I'm going to bling out the center of this heart, and I can't wait till you see the end result. The quality of these stones, um, just let's say you probably need to put your sunglasses on and let's just, I can't wait. I just can't wait. Let's just cut to the chase and let me show you. Is that not a bling factor of 10 plus? You let me know what you think. Now I'm gonna go ahead and continue in the sped up version and just finish blinging out the center of this beautiful heart. And holy smokes, you guys, look at that bling factor. Woo! Okay. Now back to the wreath. I got these velvet-ish ribbons from the Dollar Tree. They came in red and white. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to attach the teddy bear first with the Dollar Tree zip ties, like I said in the beginning. Um, I'm just going to attach three of them, one at the neck and one at each leg so that it will hold on nice and tight and won't be able to be pulled off. Okay, now let's get that last leg secured on there and we'll be ready to apply the ribbon. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to make little poofs all along the last segment of the wire wreath. And I'm going to start by putting some pipe cleaners, oh, maybe four of them, across the first section of the heart. And I'm just gonna make little poofs and connect them with the pipe cleaners and I'm not measuring them or anything like that. I'm just kind of eyeballing it to make sure that they're kind of the same. It doesn't matter if they're perfectly poofed or not. You can, um, you can kind of disguise with some of the other ribbon that I'm going to use. And you'll see how I do that in just a little bit here. But I start by putting on the red and oh yes, I forgot, I got another color. 
It was the the light pink. I just thought they looked so Valentine's esque together, the red and the pink, and I also got the white. So the next segment I started to do was the pink and you can kind of see I'm starting to get my mojo going here and um, I'm starting to just poof away and um, so each uh, color will have its own little section on the wreath form and as per the usual with the Dollar Tree you don't get a whole lot um, on each roll. So I'm trying to kind of space it out a little bit because in my mind I'm knowing that I'm going to go back and I'm going to fill in with some uh, other ribbons and whatnot to make the wreath stand out and be nice and full. So now you see me grabbing the white. So it's going to be red, pink, white, red, pink, white all the way around the wreath. Elementary, my dear Watson, right? So at this point, I start thinking, I'm gonna pull out some of my candy cane ribbon from the holiday. I just looked at the stripes and it's got some sparkle to it. And man, when I put that candy cane ribbon in there, it just popped. It just made it look very whimsical and I love the red and pink together. Let me know what you guys think. And that's not the only thing I'm going to use in this wreath as a filler, but um, it really came in handy because I definitely underestimated how many rolls of Dollar Tree ribbon I would need. So food for thought, just remember when you're buying at the Dollar Tree, look at that yardage on each of those rolls. You think you're getting more than you are, and you're so not. So it was a good thing that I have all this extra ribbon from the holidays, and it just filled in so nicely. Okay, let's get to the end of this part. And another tip I have for you is these ribbons seem to slide around on those little metal pieces on the heart shape wreath form. So I just go in and I tack them together so they're not sliding apart from each other uh, with a, just a little dot of hot glue and that kept them in place and in the end um, it worked out real well. Okay now enter in these pretty little bunches of peach colored roses I got from the Dollar Tree. I don't like all the Dollar Tree flowers, I will be the first to admit, but these were beautiful. I have used so many of these bundles of peach roses from the Dollar Tree for so many projects and even some wedding centerpieces. They turned out so pretty. So all I did was I snipped off each of the heads of those roses and I hit them with a generous amount of hot glue. And you can see how I'm placing them kind of facing inward. And I'm using the ribbon and the metal rungs of the heart shape wreath form to connect it with the hot glue. And um, I'm just kind of mixing in some colors because I think I've got some peach and some darker peach so I'm mixing them up a little bit and just going to fill in all the way around the center part of the wreath. And as I said, just filling in the gaps and in the holes. And I really can't remember how many you get on each bundle. It really depends on um, if you are looking at when you're buying at the Dollar Tree that each of the stems has a head on it. Sometimes um, they fall off and they get lost in the shuffle. So make sure when you're buying them that you're getting um, the total amount of heads on each bundle. I'm gonna say like six or seven per bundle. Okay, so now I'm just placing the last rows on the wreath and I really love how the colors all kind of complement one another. I would have never thought to put these colors together, but in the end, I think they really turned out nice. Um, so, okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna continue with the little bit of ribbon that I have from the Dollar Tree. And I'm just gonna put a couple more poofs there under the, under the bear's head. And now I'm gonna go back and just take a peek at 
all of the open spaces I can find. I, I'm going to take some of the, the pink ribbon and some of the red, and I'm just going to use them as little fillers here and there to make the wreath stand out and look its fullest. And as if that weren't enough, <laughs> I've got this little bit of baby's breath I had from a wedding left over that uh, I did. And so I'm going to just go ahead and add some little sprigs of baby's breath here and there throughout the wreath with the hot glue. It just really needed a little something extra. And I just think it's the little things, the little details that make a piece come together, don't you? Okay, so here we go. Now I'm going to enter back in the heart. And I'm just trying to figure out where exactly I'm going to place it. Um, I want it where the bear is kind of holding the heart. So I am going to add some pipe cleaners with some hot glue to the back of the wood heart so that it's not going to be glued to the soft little teddy bear. It'll be secured with the pipe cleaners. And that way, if the teddy bear ever needed to come off of the wreath for any reason, it would remain its cute little fluffy self and not have a heart attached to it with hot glue. So, okay, now I am going to let that part dry before I attach it to the bear. And I'm going to create a messy bow. And I'm just going to take some cute little polka dot ribbon and some pinks and reds and all different colors. Now with a messy bow, anything goes. You can put anything you want on there. And all you do is you create a crisscross, an X. And you keep layering and layering and layering, starting with the widest at the bottom and you graduate up to the thinner one. I'm just going to connect it in the center with a little zip tie. And then I'm going to dovetail the ends of each of the ribbons. And then just fluff it out. It's as simple as that, guys. Now when you dovetail, you fold the ribbon in half and you cut upward on the fold. Otherwise, you're going to end up with an arrow point instead of the pretty little V shape that you're looking for. And how sweet is that? I love how Valentine's-esque it looks with a little bit of lace on there. I think that was a nice little bit of um, Valentine's romance. Um, and I'm just attaching the lace down so that when it's sitting upright that it will not flop over. It'll stay in its place. And then I'm going to grab that heart and I'm going to take those pipe cleaners that I put on each side and just wrap them around the bear's arms securely. And on top of that, we are going to put the beautiful bow that we just made, the messy bow, as we call it. We're just going to attach that to the bear's ear. And oh my word, you guys, look at how sweet this turned out. It's the ta-da moment, so I'm going to slow this camera down so you can just see it in all its beauty. Make sure you're following me in all the places. Facebook, Pinterest, YouTube, TikTok, and Etsy. Thanks so much for watching. Now check out this little video at the end. Life would be happy and full of big smiles If you would consent to be mine I'd swim across a river I'd tremble and shiver I'd donate my liver